So tell me what is on your radar this week. So some of the big news coming out of the industry is we saw new soda consumption uh, data come out and soda consumption has reached a 30 year low. Wow. This is a big deal and it's been being driven by diet soda. So consumers are saying, no, I don't want diet. I don't want aspartame. I mean, we've seen general declines across the industry, right. but driven by diet. Wow. Now, Pepsi reformulated its diet Pepsi to not contain aspartame, but that is the whole, is there still a stigma? Like people just don't want to touch it anyway? People are really concerned about sugars. I think that's yeah. the big thing now. And so we're seeing people switch to water and, and the big soda companies are following that trend. So flavored water might be the new soda, mm -hmm. do you think? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And I mean, interestingly, Coca-Cola has even have a joint venture in milk. So Interesting. yeah, there's, there's new moves. Uh, and so there's more news of big companies getting on board with the wholesome natural trend. Mm -hmm. In addition to Pepsi uh, changing their diet Pepsi, they're also going to cage-free eggs. That's right. That's right. So you don't normally think about Pepsi being in the egg business, but they do baked goods. They own Quaker. Mm -hmm. And they have said that they are going to move to cage-free uh, in North America by 2020, globally by 2025. And they're following a big shift here. I mean, most, I think most people now that are, have some involvement in the egg supply chain are saying we're moving cage free. Wow. And speaking of chickens, there's also some increasing concern about um, the hormones that are used to make them bigger. Our chickens are bigger than ever. Yes. So this is going to be the next big thing in animal, animal welfare and it's fast growth chickens. And this is done through breeding practices, not always hormones, but just basically over time, chickens being bred together, you get bigger chickens. They get, they're bigger, faster. And now companies are starting to look at this and say, I don't know, maybe we should back away. And Whole Foods has actually come out and said, we're gonna, we're gonna stop this practice. It's kind of scary. I mean, like in, in 1925, chickens were 2.5 pounds and now they're six pounds and they get there in half the time. So it's, yeah, it's kind of scary. It is. So this is the new antibiotics. It's sort of, it's about the growth, not necessarily, it's right. growth. Right, and, and it's also, I think, I think what part of the problem is, is that the journal just did a story this week on, on the, actually the fibrous taste is not, consumers don't necessarily want that. So, so it's also a reaction in part to, to not just health, but also taste as well.